Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, I should say. Uh, doing a little farming here. Still working on Grandpa's farm. I reset it. Um, so now we are running these, uh, running three X9, uh, these black cats, plus three yellow cats, all running 11 point shanks. But as you can see, I'm making new fields, so, you know, I'm going from fallow to fallow. So this will be a cornfield. We started in the spring but when we reset it. So we got a lot of ripping to do. And the farm has grown, too. So everything is, so we farm all of this all the way up, all the way up to here. So we got a lot to do. Uh, where the other cats are, which are right here. Um, I, I ripped this field once, but I didn't like the way it, it wouldn't do the second part, so I just made it all in one big giant field. So this is gonna be a bean field. Right here is a bean field. We're putting lime down here too. We're uh, just kind of waiting on the line. So for the next field, I got all my precision data, you know, right here for that field. It's going to be beans. This is corn. All this down here. All this down here is going to be beans. This will be all corn. And then think down here is going to be part beans part corn this is all beans all beans all beans so we'll have a lot to do and all this down here is going to be beans so this whole section down here cornfield 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 this might be a bean field don't know yet so, but <clears throat> right now we're ripping all this up. So a lot of this is fallow ground. Um, I'm turning it back into productive acres. So we got a lot to do. Um, I'll keep you updated, making new videos. We got all this to do around the town. So once we get all this ripping done, we got all this over here to do. We're going to start putting in hydros, uh, get all the line put down, and then start putting in hydros down, and then we'll go from there. Um, we're going to run, we'll run two 60 foot drills for beans, air drills, case, and here, here is my case drill, I got two of them. So they're gonna put they're gonna put beans down. And then my combines I have three ninety eight seventies and three ninety eight sixties. Um, all forty foot drapers and twelve row heads. Here's the bean setup. So we'll run two of them, and then we're going to run four planters. So we'll have a big seed tank with the 90, with the C850 connected to uh, to, uh, to the DB990s. So all 36 rows, um, 96 30s, pulling them with big. Uh, saddle tanks in front of them so it should be good here's the other setup so we're about ready to load that up and get ready when we can and then we're running uh, all six cats will have 51 foot field cultivators and then we're going to put pack uh, kind of like a rolling basket behind them even though they have rolling baskets on them. So here, here we go. Here's a 90, 
here's the 51 footer and then there's my green setup right now my main green setup so we'll be able to dry corn exciting and then here's my rollers so we're going to work around uh, work the line in and then run these behind it for the beans so it looks like we're going to be when we're going to start planting we're going to start planting so here's the farm so nothing nothing spectacular um, three big fertilized holding tanks so we can hold some fertilizer and then we got def and then here's our diesel tank and then we have two um, tanks here so we can fill these full of seed or fertilizer I think I'm going to put a couple more here so that, that's what's going on and then like I said He's going to put line down, but he'll also plant beans. So this this tractor will have a dual purpose. So that's good. So he, I have two of them, so they're going to pull the the big big planter, big big bean planter, and then. six of them and then we're going to have three of it will have these garnals which are kind of sweet and then the other three I think I'm going to have they're just going to run a 12 road deer 612 shopping so nothing fancy. Um, some older equipment, some newer equipment. And it's going to be a good time. These are also, so this tractor and the other tractor are actually a triple threat tractor. They're going to pull the sprayers too. So we'll get all that stuff bought and ready to go. we just trying to work ground right now. Get that done. Get all the plowing done. So, like I said, this whole thing right here is going to be corn. So, all of this in here. So, we got a lot of anhydrous to put on on top of just getting everything ripped. So, I got these are ripping and these are ripping. So, this whole thing here is corn. All this up here is corn. And this right here is going to be corn uh, corn here this whole section here is corn and then I think these are going to be beans and then I said all this down here will be beans too or all down here will all be beans so my whole goal is that we'll be able to drop the header trailers off here and all this will run You'll be able to go straight down and up over here and then right into up here and then come back into some of this and do this same way you know right here is going to be beans so 200 and 201 will be corn but these will be beans so i'll be able to move things around a little bit easier just kind of give you an update on the farm um, I have another video it don't have me talking in it so just enjoy it uh, and then we'll I'll keep you updated of what's going on through Facebook or through here but um, and I think this right here is the gas station so I think all this in here is gonna be beans too so this I think this is corn um, this is corn right in here it's going to be beans something like that I don't know exactly but um, the 
nice, nice to, to have, have you here. here. The guy that had this farm before Grandpa rented it, um, he actually bought this one, but as you can see, they had a lot of fallow. So fallow is, they didn't do nothing with it. So they farmed a little bit of it. So they farmed this little section and this little section and left the rest. Well, I want to make some money. So, and I don't want, mowing's going to cost more money to mow it than it is to put it in row crop. So it just takes time. I got all the tractors set at six miles an hour. So they're ripping it like they should be. So we're busting up all the hard ground and all the sod so we can get it ready to put in back into row crop so fun 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 uh, some of it is you know they kept like over here they you know these fields here most of these fields are where they should have been so not too bad but some of this in big sections is in fallow. So we gotta break it up and get it ready to go back into row crop. And some of it has trees too. So we have to work around the trees. So I got course play running for me. So, which is good. Then we'll get everything lined and then we'll start putting in hydrous down. And then we'll start getting ready to the plant crops. So like I said, I restarted the map. So I took a $200 million loan out uh, instead of a $20 million loan. So we're running some newer stuff, but we're also running some older stuff. And I decided to run, so um, I think I'm gonna have two 9620s or and two 9630s, so they can plant together. We'll keep everything close. I just don't want to move from one end of the map to the other for no reason. So there will be some beans up there, but. Um, most of the stuff's going to be the same crop, but since uh, I bought, since this farm went up for sale, this ground I put in a farm there. So that's that's my main farm, and then Grandpa's main farm is over here. So we're not I'm not too far away. There's a co-op here, a co-op here too. So we can get stuff and there will be another uh, co-op up here so like I said we got a lot to do um, some of this is going to get broke up and some of it won't so uh, we got some nice sections to do so these little sections here will be going in beans but you know here's almost a whole section this is a little tree area Here's a tree, old fence line, another old woods. So we got some stuff to do. Uh, and then, so things are looking better. We'll get this eventually all ripped up. It's just gonna take a lot of time. And then we can start planting and then st start getting ready for the uh, next crop. So we'll put in hydrosan as a base. Um, they'll put in hydrosan as a base and then We'll put a little starter fertilized to get the corn growing and then come back um, and put 28 on. So we'll knife in 28 with these 90 foot planter, planters. So it's going to take time. But I want the best crop I can get. And I'm also running precision farming. So I don't have to worry about other stuff going on. I can. Hopefully I'll have this main section ripped before Christmas. So thank you for watching and um, I hope you liked this video and
tell me what you like or dislike about it and so I can make videos for you that you'll really enjoy. Thank you.